I wanted to talk to you today with some of the things that I deal with in the emergency department, which is death. I often deal with people coming into the emergency department, fighting to stay alive, and at times I'm not able to save their lives. I do all that I can, and I do my best to try to bring a person back. But it's difficult because regardless to what medications I have on hand, what technology I have on hand, I still can't beat the, the almighty power above there. And that person, he or she, you know, has the final say in who lives and who doesn't. And so oftentimes you see physicians, they're stoic, they may seem like they're not human, they may, they may seem detached. And I know sometimes I might present myself like that. And I am human, I am. And I do feel a sense of attachment. But I gotta keep my cool, I gotta keep my calm because if I lose it while taking care of you or your loved one, then they'll look at me like, we need to call somebody else in here right away. So it's tough. It's, I've pronounced tens and twenties and thirties of people dead each year. You know, and, and at sometimes, I've been doing this for a number of years now, 10 plus years. And it still hit home when it's the emotional exchange between a loved one, uh, an, an elder and her grandchildren or her children, a child or an infant that have to pronounce that. I mean, it, it, it really bothers me. And I do things to try to decompress and distract myself and make sure to exercise and still play basketball, read and vacation, things to sort of balance and get myself back in the right place. Because the most important to me is that I do all that I can to save the next person's life if I lose one. And the question I always ask myself, I get this, and it's a very important question, is that did I do all that I could to save that person's life? Myself and a lot of my other colleagues, we're human. And it's tough, it's a very difficult job. But someone has to do it, I enjoy doing it, and I'm passionate about doing it. And the beauty is that I save more lives than I lose. But death is promised to all of us. And so I do my best. And I need you out there to do your best and make sure that you stay healthy. I have patients who come into the emergency department at times and they're not taking good care of themselves and they come in, they collapse. <laughs> Dr. David saved my life. Well, what have you done to save your life? So you have to make sure you keep your blood sugar under control. You have to make sure you put down those packs of cigarettes, put down that alcohol bottle, make sure you stop using those drugs, make sure you exercise, make sure you go see your doctor regularly. You have skin in the game too. But I mourn, I do, and at times I feel, sometimes families may blame me because their loved one has moved on. And I wanna grieve with them. And I know in, in so many ways I could be the hero, but at, sometimes I could be the villain as well in their minds. But I want you to know that us doctors out here, we are on the front lines of medicine and we're on the, it's, it's as if we're there to save lives and we are moved when we're not able to do so. So I just wanted to share that with you guys out there, let you know that my veins do pump blood and it's not cold.